Fjallan Devna bringing to Pearson. It's only the best of Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Abba. Dead. At the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery and that Ivor has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shropshire an ally. I should confer with Rambi. Man your oars. Shining blade. Need to row our way out.
share a tale. I had a sweetheart once, a long time back. A fine lady I'd known since I was a boy. Now, believe it or not, there was a time when I was easy on the eyes. God and I, we ran off together. We were discovered. She had been promised to another, and that man found us. Blood had nowhere to run. Take them out. told the girl to hide, but she did not. She was convinced he would not harm me. Set them A word out. from her, and he would leave us. Sadly, she was wrong. Vengeance ripped his Good sailing with To restore sail. his lost honor, he challenged me to a home gunger. I was nothing but a young lad. There was no wind. Sweetheart encouraged me to fight. I could see in her eyes she believed in me. But my knocking no. knees drowned out Monastery. all sound. I ran. I ran to the sounds of her howling. Her barbed words cursing me to a coward's painful death. Well, to never hear again. So I never ran again. From anything. I stand and fight. Always prepare to die. You saw skills. Tail down, Since many of you wondered how we preservers could ever be, I was young, and at a midsummer feast in Trondheim, when someone bumped me, knocking my sweet honeycomb into their mead, I was mad, and she just laughed. We spent the rest of the night together. Sharing me and honey. And other. But in the morning she sailed away with her fleet to Orkney. I wept and raged, because I knew I would not see her again. Then the gods smiled on me. And I found a ship heading to Orkney that needed a rower. I climbed aboard, and for weeks I rowed. We landed, and I made my way to her father's farm. But too late. She was wedding that same day. The groom's hounds chased me away. Heartbroken, I returned to the ship and slept. Next morn, we lifted sail, and I began to row. It took an hour before I saw she was sitting behind me. I was overjoyed. Sometime in the night, she had left the wedding and snuck onto our ship. We rowed together for weeks. Wet and happy. Those were happier days. Before Nyad and the Berserker and my first battle. And of course, the dark deeds that later befell us. Let's put in here! <laughs> 